Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. I'm doing this video for a student of mine who had asked me about GCOM. Was reviewing this back from, oh, it was like a year ago or so. And was looking at this whole picture here, and as you know, I teach a class on trends. And one of the things I teach in the class is obviously how to read trends in stocks. And when a stock has changed trend or when a stock is continuing a trend or when it is basically correcting a trend. The thing is, he had asked me about GCOM, uh, looking at this picture here. What do you think this trend of the stock is in? What would you say? You know what I would say? I would say it's in a downtrend. Okay, and it is in a downtrend. And, you know, the interesting thing is, looking at this here, and I'm going to look at today. Let's go where it's at right now here. GCOM as of right now is still not in an uptrend. Okay? It was not in an uptrend a year ago. It's not even in an uptrend now. It's actually neutral. This is what I call neutral. This is actually for real neutral. And the stock is trying to figure itself out. In this neutral position that it's in right now, it's either going to fix itself and correct itself and get back into an uptrend, or it's going to determine that it is, in fact, going to go in a downtrend and hold in a downtrend and do it. And if it goes in a downtrend for real at this point now today, well, this is a really clear target here. So I don't know when the earnings are out on this exactly. However, my guess is it's going to gap down. This is too clear of a target to ignore. I mean, I'm just going right to it. Do I mean, there it is. So as of right now today, GCOM is not in an uptrend. And as of a year ago today, GCOM was not in an uptrend. It is very important to understand trends and stocks to be able to determine what you're doing in a day trade, a core trade, or a swing trade. Trends are so important. I don't care what type of trading you do. I don't even care what strategy you do. Anything you incorporate in your daily strategy, whatever it is, gaps, climactics, buy setups, sell setups, anything, you've got to look at the overall trend. And Playing with the trend is the way to make money. Playing with the trend consistently is the way to make money. And the reason you have to know exactly what specific strategy you're doing, what's going on the trend is because if you're doing something, we we're talking about this the other day actually in the class. If you were trying to do a climactic in a gap play that I'd be in the first day of the gap of a corrected gap and it would be dropping off a cliff and you were trying to do a climactic buy, you would lose. You would lose and you would lose and you would lose because it's a new day of the gap and it's crashing to the floor and it's not going to do a climactic buy. So once again, going back to the understanding of trends and going back to the understanding of gaps, you can't even do every setup that happens because if the setup is happening in a strategy that is a is a very important day for that strategy to be set up, like for example, a continuation gap or a corrective gap or a new day in a trend or a continuation in a trend, the specific play you might be doing, a buy setup, a daily sell setup, a, a climactic, is not going to work right those days because what's going to be in control? The gap, okay? The gap in the trend itself. And then even the intraday plays aren't going to work right. It all goes back to the bigger picture. Everything always goes back around to the bigger picture. It always goes back around to the bigger picture. There's no way of getting around back to the bigger picture. This is one of the things that people don't get and why they'll go for a period in the trading and do really well, and then they'll fall back on their butt, and then they can't figure out what they were doing wrong, and they'll start losing again, and they'll be back and forth and back and forth like a yo-yo, okay? The only way to get into consistency with your trading and everything that you're doing is to trade with the trend, to learn how to read trends, to know what to do and to know what you're looking at, and it's so much more than looking at pivots. If it was that easy to say that every pivot higher high and higher low is an uptrend and every pivot lower high and lower low is a downtrend, then it wouldn't be difficult to make money trading. Then everybody just read the pivots and do it. But that's not the case. That is not the case. Pivots do not determine a trend. Period. End of story. So if you're interested in more information, please feel free to email me at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.